I'm the Leasing Cowboy. You're watching Surviving in Alabama. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Surviving in Alabama. So, I don't have to tell you this, it's been hot. And I've had so many things going on that I just have procrastinated out processing my last chicken. Hey, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I mean, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, look right here. Hopefully Saturday, we're gonna skin this greenhouse. I'm praying that we do. I gotta do some work on the top rail, gotta do a little bit more cleaning up but uh, it's almost ready to do it. All right, here we go. So, you know, I'm gonna tell you about my failures and my successes. So I, I do have a failure. All right, so the last time I processed chickens, I, I, I had eight to do. And I, I ended up, because I ran out of time, it was getting dark on me, I saved two. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I processed the six and they're really big then. Uh, so I had two left. And anyway, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I did a short about how big they were. They're just giants. And then, so then I got distracted squirrel with all the things I got going on. Uh, we do volleyball, do a lot of church stuff, lots of church stuff. And so we had conferences and all this, all these things going on. Okay. So I have procrastinated out uh, getting those last two birds. Well, a few days ago when it was the hottest of the hottest days and these birds are so big, I think one of them died of a heat stroke. I just came out here to check on it and it was gone. It was, it was, it, was, it just died and totally my fault. And I was really kind of sad. I was like, how long can they go? Cause I don't know. And I've never done it that way. And I don't, in the past, you know, I've done other kinds of chickens. This is my first this is my first Cornish cross experience at all. So I did black Australorps before in which I've got some more over there and I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a breeding stock of black Australorps going. Uh, so in the future I have, I'm, I'm hatching my own eggs and, and uh, processing my own chickens that were hatched here. So that's, that's the goal. Okay. So these Cornish crosses, two left, one died a few days ago, uh, about, less than a week ago got this one i can't leave this one bird in there and it's getting way too big and today's the day so i'm not going to waste this meat i've got way too much invested and i don't i don't want to do these birds injustice so this is my last one for the year uh next year hopefully i'll be in the australort business and i can do my own uh, i want to hatch some over the winter time if i can uh incubate them inside so anyway so let's just see how big it is it's big so we're, i've got a scale out here we're going to find out exactly okay so i have a scale i'm out here in the shop i got a scale here and i'm almost embarrassed to even show you what a weigh. and of course these boots that i have on are heavy but you know at, at my size it just don't matter <laughs> that didn't make no difference so uh, let's see We got 300 pounds, 300 pounds exactly. I know that y'all watch my videos and you already knew that I was fat, okay? That's, there's no big secret there. But for the last couple of days, I have started a diet and I'm trying to do something more towards keto, which are uh, just some vegetables, basically low carbs. 
I'm not doing an actual keto diet. I'm just doing something like that. I'm just trying to regulate what I'm doing. And I have to cut out the sugar. I drink a lot of sweet tea. And I mean a lot. So hopefully in a few months, I will be uh, not as heavy. I also went to the doctor today and because I have a hernia that's getting, getting bad. Doctor told me, he said, if you'll lose some weight before we do this as a surgery, then the surgery, the surgery, the surgery would be more successful. So that is, I'm doing it. I'm already doing it. So I'm working on it. Uh, you're going to see me start to thin out a little bit. So which is good. So, all right, I'm going to go get this bird. And then, so I'm 300 with my boots and everything. I'm exactly 300 right on the money. So anything above that's how much this bird weighs. So let's go find out. I came out here this morning. I did a short on it. This hen laid an egg. I have never, like, I don't have Cornish Cross experience. This is my first time with them. But I've never known anybody to ever tell me that. or I've never seen that in a video from somebody else's stuff. I just thought that it was unusual. But we're going to eat this egg. <laughs> I may just do a short on it. But here's this bird. Look how big she is. I almost feel bad to even, even process her. And uh, she did have her friend in here, but but... And the other one was bigger than this one by a little bit. I just almost feel bad for her. I really do. Okay. I'm going to do it. Three twelve point two. Okay. This is a 12 pound point two or 12 pound two ounce bird that is big for a chicken uh i've never had a chicken that big before this it's heavy it's a big, she is big okay all right i hate to do it but hey she's got to go in the freezer she's a big one real big Well, I got a big bowl of meat just out of one chicken. It's a lot. It's heavy. Okay, now, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get Cornish Crosses again next year. I'd really rather not, even though they're big. I mean, they're so big. I just uh, prefer the heritage breeds to where I can breed them myself. That's just how I lean and I mean, I may get some next year. I just don't know. But if I can get these that I got going here, these are this year's birds. If I can get them laying in the fall through the winter and get them, if I can get a rooster to go with them, which I don't have, and start breeding these chickens, I'll have chickens all year next year. Because that's really the, the goal is, is not to have to get something from the outside. So if I can raise these birds here, ha uh, uh, raise, hatch these birds this uh, here, breed them in the whole nine yards all the way to the freezer. That's what I want to do. And there's nothing wrong with these Australorps. I mean, they're, 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 I mean, chicken's chicken to me, but, but, uh, I, I feel like they're a more sustainable option. So you can see right there, See these black chickens? That's the black Australorps. And they're a big chicken. I mean, they're not, they're not corners cross size, but you know, and they take longer to go out, but they're a big chicken and I think they're gonna be just fine. So hopefully th these guys are gonna be my, my uh, breeder stock if this goose will let me talk. So, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, just wanted to do something quick and short and tell you that uh, this is the end of the line, end of the season for me, for chickens anyway. Uh, we will, for 2023, we will resume chicken operations in the spring. And maybe act, if I get some eggs and hatchies, uh, we have an incubator here, it belongs to my daughter, and she will tell you that. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, uh, very soon in the near future 
I can start maybe breeding these things and get these Austral. And once they start, they're not laying yet, but they're, they're getting really close. I'm hoping they're going to start laying in uh, maybe October. So I'm thinking that uh, depending on how winter goes, and it's hard to raise chicks through the, through the wintertime. It is because it's cold and they don't like that. So be playing it by ear a little bit. I do have uh, a way that I can keep them warm. Uh, I've got a couple of brooder boxes and I've, I've got a uh, chicken tractor that has a heater in it that I made. So I have to plug it up though. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.